Okay, we're heading south, y'all. There's the city of Chicago. Soon we'll be looping around Lake Michigan toward Indiana. Look at the crazy traffic. Holy, you know what? Is that big donkey the Will Willis Tower? Is that big donkey the Willis Tower? Mushroom, but it's my first elm I'm stopping to look at. The ground is nice and moist. You should have some mushroom. I don't see any. Let's look around in here. Another peeler with a widow maker. No signs of uh, morels, not even picked stem remnants. Bummer. Good spot. Okay. And a pretty little apple orchard. I'm gonna walk around looking at the grass. Let me know what we might find up here. It's hard looking. You don't know which trees produce. Well, so far we're not having any luck with morels. Or any type of fungi, actually. The apple trees are pretty, though. Real nice. Dogwood. More hiking. Come on, Morels. I need you. Ah! It's beautiful today. Let's check out this buffalo place in Angola, um, Indiana. Cool. A baby buffalo. Oh my goodness. That's a baby bison, y'all. Look at how cute he is. Look at this little dude. That is huge. I guess he passed on. Is 
people to do. Our winner here. So they just use that like to itch, scratch. Scratch, and their hair is starting to fall out now. Hang on to it. Okay. That's a baby buffalo. <laughs> you take it home tonight, water it, it'll grow into a big one. <laughs> Do you, believe, do you believe that? I got some beans in the glove box. So I'm saying. You want this back? No, you can have it if you want it. Okay. it out. I'm not throwing it out. It's cool. <laughs> when we move them from one field to the next this time of year, after we move them from one field like now into one, people will come in and gather that hair and clean them brushes out. Uh -huh. Clean it, cart it, spin it into yarn. They'll skein the yarn sell for $65 and $75 a skein. Because people that's allergic to wool fur and hair can wear their hair and it won't bother their allergies. There it is. Come on. Oh. Oh. This is epic. You're driving me right into the herd. I thought there'd be a fence or something. Yeah, look here. Oh. Them babies started coming with be three weeks. Home into a bed and breakfast. These people did. two places on the world where there's buffalo. Africa has the Cape Buffalo and Asia has the water buffalo. You are correct. Europe automatically does that. Can't turn that off. So when it comes time to move them, we don't hurt them, we call them with our voice. Hmm. So, uh, my job will be to go around field one. <laughs> grew too small too fast and needed more room so about 30 years ago he walked over 400 plus acres here and decided this is where he built his retirement home and a place he could have his hobby and um hello how you doing and that's a young bull talking they all have horns I see. Their horns and hooves are made out of the same stuff that our fingernails and toenails are. Yeah. It's called elongated hair. Yeah. And what that is, it goes, it's like a cover that goes over a bone on the horn or on the skull. The bull's horns are always big around at his head, and for two, two and a half years, they go wide and up over his head like a crescent, where the girl's horns are smaller diameter. They come out a little ways, go up, and kind of come back like handlebars on a bicycle. And some of the girls here that's in their late 30s only have little short stubby horns. If they smack out on another animal, a tree opposed to the earth, they can crack that cover, make it go downward, backward, or maybe knock it further off. And People the North American continent, at one time they say there was between 60 and 80 million. That's insane. In 1900, the Department of Natural Resources in Canada and the United States got together to count what they could find in the wild, and they only found 541 of them. Today, there's approximately 800,000. 
That's mm -hmm. due to part zoos, farms, ranches, and preserves. I love the sound they make. And they don't move, they grunt, snort, wool, and growl like a lion. Beyond the trees right ahead of us, there's a lake. On the other side, there's houses, cabins, and the campground. In the first year, they was in rut here. The breeding time, the bulls will always roar to attract the ladies. We had several phone calls go to the gift.